your videos. Uh, Saidi, I'm not a Murid till now, but I suddenly felt an immense love for Sayyidina Ali salam, and Hazrat Rumi. Can you please tell me why it is so? More importantly, neither do I sit in the company of awliya nor am I an obedient servant. The, the, the love, <clears throat> what we talked about today, you can be sitting in an ocean of a thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand people and Allah's love comes like a magnet or rain however you want to visualize it. And that love it hits the servant and immediately it pulled them out of the ocean of common people. That's when we say, that's why if you give you a visual for people to understand that this is a gift from Allah You know if you're in a stadium of a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand or two billion people from this nation, do you think that the fact that you're the people of dhikr, that you're sitting on the carpet for dhikr, you're listening to dhikr at home is your cleverness or that Allah kissed you with a Divine blessing? Now what you're going to do with it? Because Allah now lifted you from the two billion people and you're now from the people of dhikrullah in which you come to praise Allah And then Allah put you into the schools of awliya whom they're teaching you about the ishq and the muhabbat of Sayyidina Muhammad Now again Allah kissed you and came even stronger and lifted you up. Because now out of these two billion people how many hundreds of thousands know the reality and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad You think they're what in the millions, hundreds of millions? or hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands. So means <laughs> as we, we get deeper and deeper you realize that Allah has given immense treasures. When He gives love He's given immense treasures. And that's why when you read that nat, what's the nat? Agha, yes, Ma, the agha saying, agha gave me a blessings. I don't even know how I got here, how, how it goes? Uh huh. Little bit. Ye sab tumhara karam hai aka. Ye sab tumhara karam hai aka. Ke baat ab tak bani hui hai. Koi salika hai arzu ka. Koi salika hai arzu ka na bandagi. Meri bandagi hai Ye sab tumhara karam hai aka Ye sab tumhara karam hai aka The karam is the, the, the honor and the gift from Agha from the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad I don't even know how I got here because he's truthful then I didn't pray a lot, I didn't fast excessively, I don't know what I was doing. Allah's love came and grabbed me, it embraced me and then it began to lift me. And I left the association of other people and what they worship, what they liked, they put me in a basketball game, I don't know what the heck these people are talking about. Let's talk about baseball, let's talk about that, I don't know what they're talking about anymore. You've been lifted out of that room, out of that reality. And you only want to hear now about this love. Means if the visual could be understood you're like the the game in in, in those uh, arcades where there's 500 teddy bears and you have to have the, the hand for two dollars you put the hand, the claw grabs the one teddy bear and it keeps trying. So you were like in a, in a room filled with all these other people. Why that claw came, grabbed your head and took you out? That's Allah's love, that's a gift. If you don't recognize the gift that's your biggest sin.
to think, no anybody could sit here, no nobody can sit there. Whom sit there is invited by Allah Whom doesn't sit here is not invited by Allah and His invitation can be pulled at any time. That's a love and Divine love. That's why they continuously praying, Ya Rabbi keep me in Your Divine love, fill my heart with Your Divine love. If the heart should become dirty with dirty actions, what happens? If a heart becomes dirty and the person's doing dirty things, Allah's love no longer pours. And then they find themselves becoming distant, distant, distant. What you think Allah's pouring? all the Divine grace into something dirty? No. So they have to make tawbah, they have to make repentance, they have to ask God's forgiveness. When He forgives He said, ask and I forgive. As soon as they ask forgiveness they go back to cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. So it has to be common sense. We're taking very difficult spiritual and, and religious usul for make it in a very common easy language. That if God's going to send you love it has to be a beautiful golden cup. If you begin to put all your trash in the cup with bad actions and, and against sharia, against Divine law, what happens? The love is like, oh we can't pour it in that now. If that cup has no love from Allah's love you're not going to get into these associations because we said it's not your salah that got you here, it's not your zakah that got you to sit there and to listen at home and to listen on your couch. It was Allah's love that called you that, I just want to hear praising. When you dirty the cup the love stops, you say, I don't need to praise anymore, I'll just go for Jummah. And you begin to do things but they're not from this ocean of love and realities. They stopped all of this. So means Allah's grace and rahmah is this ishq and muhabbat. And all that Allah asks from us, keep your character good, keep your, your vessel of your heart to be clean. If you made it to be dirty, no problem, make istighfar. And that's why the, the awrad for, for these days is at least 10,000 istighfar all day long until asr time. And then durood al sharif and salawat upon Sayyidina Muhammad Astaghfirullah Azeem wa atubu alayk all day long at the beginning of the day that I'm asking you Ya Rabbi Astaghfirullah Azeem by the, by the name of an Azeem I'm asking your forgiveness and as, as if you're washing like a shower. Asking forgiveness for what you know, don't know, did intentionally, unintentionally, astaghfirullah lazeem. And then Allah said, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, I forgive you. And if you washed and you showered with istighfar, make durood al sharif to make your character sweet, to make your tongue to be truthful, be continuously making durood al sharif. Because how then a tongue that continuously making salawat? can go and lie because a lie is like a snake that comes into the mouth and the, the way to fight the snake in the mouth is make the al sharif that you're not uh, saying bad things, you're not saying incorrect things with durood al sharif. So these are the, the awrads of the last day because Allah granting His rahmah and mercy, astaghfirullah lazeem. And then durood al sharif, Allahumma salli wa salli wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa Ali Sayyidina Muhammad, Allahumma salli wa salli Muhammad wa Ali Sayyidina Muhammad. So that the sweetness and the, the fragrance of the tongue and the mouth is filled with a Muhammadan fragrance, inshaAllah. <coughs> As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Wa alaykum as salaam I notice when I feel sadness, I express it through anger. This really bothers me and would like to change this character. How to help? Follow everything we just described, inshaAllah. Make istighfar and make durood sharif. Sayyidi, there's uh, three, four similar questions. Uh, As-salamu alaykum, Shaykh. As-salamu alaykum. 
Uh, just a little lost, Sayyidi, how to connect with a non-living Sheikha, Mulana Haja Amina, and that I've never heard her or saw her. YouTube means that we provided a photo, thousands of students haven't met Shaykh Nazim, that doesn't mean anything. So you, you can find on YouTube videos of actually Hajj Amina giving sobats. She was one of the 40 abdan, there's 40 of the categories of saints, there are the 40 abdal of Sham that they are in charge of appearing in many places at the same time. She was one of 40 of those realities. So high level awliya with the immense knowledge, the realities of the lore of light is from her teachings. So there's a three volume set of her teachings and if you YouTube Ajamina Adil, Sultan awliya's wife, then alhamdulillah you can come across her video so that you hear her sound. You come across her surah by looking at her face, you get the faces on the internet by just googling her. So everything is available like it is for everyone else. You get those, print out the photo, look at her photo and then connect your heart with the connection of the shaykhs and asking them to connect to her heart, visualize her presence and then alhamdulillah make your whole rabita and connection to her holy presence and ask that she connects you and that uh, she guide you. And for women this is an important uh, state so that they can come to a much stronger connection inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa See what is the reality of the four kuls around the throne on the healing shifa bowls? Is that the same as those on the level of the heart and does it correspond to holy personalities coming onto the earth? Hmm. That nice, it could be. <laughs> yeah. yeah, four calls that surround. That sounds good to me. That the, the throne of Prophet and Malik al Aziz, Sultan al Nasira. So, alhamdulillah, this is the, the reality that Allah wants everyone to reach to the presence of Sultan and Nasira, your authorized Sultan. What Surat Al Isra is describes in Ayatul Kareem that let me to enter through the gate of truthfulness and then to exit from the gate of truthfulness but to enter into the presence of Sultan and Nasira. So, your authorized Sultan, and this is Allah's holy Qur'an. Is not for earth, it's for all of eternity. And our life is to enter into the presence of Sultan and Nasira, that your authorized Sultan. And our life is then to be authorized by your authorized Sultan. That's the importance. When the shaykhs, their whole life was to reach to that presence. And when the reaching of the presence became true, and that they're authorized by Sultan and Nasira, then the gift to them was a written ijazah. Why? Because not only the spiritual that you're in their presence but Prophet wants that reality to manifest. So the physical ijazah is that by order of Allah to the presence of Sultan and Nasira through the shaykhs, their authorized representatives, they handwrite your ijazah and your permission. For what? For guidance and for teaching. That you are from the waris al ummah, that you guide in the nation. Where your guidance goes is from north, south, east, west. And that, that was what meant by Ayatul Kareem, Sultan and Nasira, means that the authorized Sultan has signed off for you and that his madad and support is with you, that his qawth is with you, his kutubs with you, his awliya fi samai wa filard are with you. To facilitate 
what you're in need of. So that's a proclamation from heavens, not from earth. As a result then that's authority. That's the reality in which to achieve. As a result that authorized one and there can be many on earth if they have that physical ijazah but their life is to bring everybody to the presence of Sultan al nasir through maqa siddiq through the gate of truthfulness that come tr through this truthful way to the presence of the Holy King Sayyidina Muhammad and give your allegiance. And then your leaving means that you leave this earth through the gate of truth because you're a servant to the king of all creation, to the sultan of all creation Sayyidina Muhammad and that you achieve the greatest achievement of this earth. You came to the earth and you were veiled from who your king was. And shaitan tried to make you the, uh, his subject, that's the game of earth. The shaitan is coming and saying, I'm the king. That you come to me if you want a job, you come to me if you want money, you come to me if you want this dunya. So the whole struggle in the fight was to find, no I want the heavenly king. And Allah is the power in the heart of that king. But you can never say Allah is the, the, the king of this creation because you're not going to go into presence of Sultan and Nasir being Allah because Allah has no shariq, Allah has no partner. It's not an adab and, and politeness to say that you could go into the presence of Allah Allah is in the heart of His king and that's what's important. So, so Sultan al nasira the authorized king is then our life's duty to reach to that reality and to be amongst those whom are from that reality. And that's why when they speak and they teach, they teach about Sultan al nasira the sultan, everything is about the sultan, not the sultan of people and on earth because that, that is just a bunch of murid saying he's a sultan, this one is a sultan, you're making things up. The sultan and nasira is no doubt is Prophet hold tight to the rope of Sayyidina Muhammad so that not to deviate because you could believe somebody's a sultan and find out later in life, no they weren't sultan. So don't call people this title, Prophet is the sultan. And the only other sultan that we're waiting for is who? Imam Mahdi Because Prophet gave us clear indication he's coming as a sultan. From my lineage, my family and from the descendants of Imam Ali Salam. So no doubt you have to have a love for Imam Ali because you're waiting for his descendants. How could you love the descendant and not the grandfather? He's coming with the izzat and might of Imam Ali and he's coming from the lineage of Imam al Husayn So it means that lineage and that bloodline from Imam al Husayn is Sayyidina Mahdi, Muhammad al Mahdi Sahib al Waq, Sahib al Unsur. So means is his love, how can you love one not the other? So as a result, no you have to have a love for all of them. So of course then Allah is going to pluck the one out that he wants. That all of a sudden they hear the name and the praisings of Imam Ali and their heart is drawn to it, they don't understand why. Because Allah's love kissed them, embraced them and pulled them up. Maybe they have a role to play in all of these realities inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifu wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.